present to you how to convert from a binary to uh, octal and from binary to uh, hexadecimal. So what I'm going to do first before I uh, teach you this, I'm going to first uh, let you know how or like remind you of how to uh, convert from binary to decimal first. And then uh, similarly we'll proceed with the, uh, with the binary to octal conversion and then from the binary to um, the hexadecimal conversion. Okay. So if you have a number in binary, let's say we have 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay, and I'd like to convert this number uh, from binary to decimal. Okay, so this is binary, and we want to convert to decimal. How do we do this? We look at the zero and say yes, okay, so that's zero times two power zero, and then plus zero times two power one, which is this zero, okay, plus one, which is this one, times 2 power 1 or 2 okay and then 1 times 2 power 3 okay so 0 comes from that 0 times 2 power 0 and then 0 times 2 power 1 1 times 2 power 2 and then 1 times 2 power 3 so if you if you look at these weights these numbers that are multiplied by the 2s 1 1 0 0 which is the same number so where did I get these twos from? That's two power zero because that's in the zeroth position, and that's the one, the first position, and that's the second position, and that is the third position. Okay. So if you do this math, you'll find that this is two power three is eight, plus two power two is four, plus zero plus zero. Okay. Which is equal to twelve. And this is in decimal. Okay? So what if I want to know decimal sometimes written like that? Okay? So what if I want to convert from again from binary to octal? Well I'll be doing the same thing. Okay? But instead, when I do this step, so here this is decimal okay but if I want to do from binary to octal okay to octal conversion what do I do in this step I'm going to write 8 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0 but the 8 I should not write it as an 8 like that I should write it as the table as this table dictates so what is 8 in Octal. 8 in octal is written as 1, 0. Okay? And that's why I need to write here 1, 0. Okay? Plus 4. How shall we write the 4 in octal? 4 is written as 4. Plus 0, because 0 is written as 0. Okay? Plus 0. So if you do the math, 1, 0 plus 4. Okay, 4 plus 0 is 4, and 1 plus 0 is 1. And that is the final answer. 14. So this is in octal. Okay, sometimes written in this way. Okay. So this is pretty much how you do the octal to the binary to octal conversion. But however, there is a there is a trick and there is a shortcut that lets you do this conversion in an easier way. What is that trick? Binary to octal. Okay. Shortcut. How do you do that? You write the number, 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay, and then divide the number into groups of 3 bits. 0, 0, 1. And that's the first 3 bits. And then the, the remaining 3 bits. I have here only 1 bit remaining. So what do I do? I append it with zeros, with 2 zeros. So it comes 3 bits. If you have a, a couple of more digits, a couple of more bits, then you append 
zeros as well, as I'm going to let you know in another example. So, 1, 0, 0. What is 1, 0, 0 in octal? Well, if you look at 1, 0, 0, you find that 1, 0, 0 is 4. Okay? Binary to octal conversion from 1, 0, 0 is 4. Every 3 bits are converted to 4. How did I do this conversion? You need to memorize this table. 0 in octal corresponds to 0, 0, 0 in binary. 1 in octal corresponds to 0, 0, 1. Okay? And then 2 in octal corresponds to 0, 1, 0. 3, 0, 1, 1. 4, 1, 0, 0. 5, 1, 0, 1. 6, 1, 1, 0. And 7, 1, 1, 1. Okay? So pretty much you do not re really need to memorize this entire table in order to convert from binary to octal. All you need to do is memorize this shortcut table. It contains only eight rows. Okay. Once you memorize this table, you'll be able to do the conversion using the shortcut. Because pretty much you'll be facing only three bits. You'll be dividing the number into groups of three bits only. So the first three bits correspond to four. Okay. What about the second three bits? The second three bits correspond to zero, zero, one, which is one. Then the binary to octal conversion is one one zero zero no oh, sorry one four in octal. Okay? So let's take another example. Binary to octal as well. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. I want to convert this from binary to octal. What do I do? I divide it as well into groups of 3 bits. Okay? Why did I append here? Am I able to append here zeros? Because zeros on the left are negligible. They do not affect the number. So 0, 1, 0. Well, if you look at 0, 1, 0, you find it to be 2. 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0, 6. 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1 is 3. 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1 is 1. So the number 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. In binary. equals 1, 3, 6, 2 in octal. Okay. So, what about the, the conversion from binary to hexadecimal? Let's convert this number 1, 0, 1, 1 one, zero, zero, one, zero. Okay? From binary to hexadecimal. So that's what I'm shooting for. Well, you need to divide the number into groups of four, not three. Okay? Four. Okay? And then you append here three zeros. And then divide this now after you divide this number into groups of four, you use a pretty much similar table that converts from binary to hexadecimal. So I need to remove this table and add to it hexadecimal. Okay, so this is hex. What do I do? So it needs to be a group of four. Okay, one, zero. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0.
Hexadecimal. Okay, and this is eleven in hexadecimal. This is twelve, and this is thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, so this is the table that you need to memorize. Okay, if you look at this table, you find that this table is infinite sized. Pretty much, it has infinite number of rows. You need to continue to the end if you want to do. If you do, you, if you do not want to do the shortcut method. However, the shortcut method allow you to only memorize a table of only 16 rows. I know 16 is pretty much uh, a lot, but but at least it's not infinite. Okay. So how do you do the conversion? Group them into four, and then do the mapping. So zero zero one zero is two. Zero one one one. 0111 is 7, 0001 which is 1. So 10111010 in binary equals 172 in hexadecimal. Okay? Sometimes written like that. Whether you want to add here three zeros or you do not want to add them, it doesn't really matter. Okay? Let's take another example. One, 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 zero, zero, one, zero, one, 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 one. Okay? How do you convert this number? This is binary. Okay? I want to convert it to hexadecimal. I divide it into groups of four. So that's the first four bits. Okay, and then the second four bits, and then four bits, and then zero, zero, zero. This is F, this is two, this is F, and this is one. Okay, so it becomes one F, two F. In Exodus. So whenever you have hexadecimal, whenever you have octal, and you need to convert from binary to octal, binary to hexadecimal, do not use ex anything except the shortcut method, which depends on this table. You need to memorize this table, and this table actually contains both, the octal and the hexadecimal. So the octal, you only depend on that, but, no, but, remember, but remember that you need to group them into groups of three bits. While the hexadecimal, you need to memorize the entire table, and you should be able to convert from binary to hexadecimal. What if you want to convert from hexadecimal to binary? How to do that? Well, you need to group them into groups of only one symbols. So the F, you convert, how to convert the F? If I give you a number like that, I want to convert it back to binary. What do I do? I look at the F. Okay, the F here is, corresponds to 1111. So I write here 1111. Look at the two and write zero zero one zero 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 one zero. And look at the F and write one 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 because that's the F. And then finally zero 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 one. Okay, and this this becomes this is if you were asked if you were given a number in hexadecimal and you want to convert it to binary. Okay, what if you want to convert a number from hexadecimal and you want to convert it to an octal, what do you do? Then you look at the number in hexadecimal, convert it to binary first, and then convert it back from binary to octal. How do you do that? You divide it into groups of three. Okay, so this is seven, and this is five, one, zero, 1, okay, 
5. Of course, you'll be asking, okay, so this is 1, 0, 0, 1. But why did I depend on the hexadecimal table? Well, I did not depend on the hexadecimal table. I know that the, hex, the, the octal table is a part of the hexadecimal table if I ignore the fourth bit. Okay? So I just look at the first eight rows and ignore the, la the most significant bit, which is the, the bit on the far left. This gives you the octal table. Okay? And that, this is why I, I insist I, I, it's very favorable for you to memorize the hexadecimal uh, table. Okay? And this is 4, 1, 0, 0. And this is 7, 1, 1, 1. Okay? And this is 1. So, 1F, 2F in hexadecimal equals 1, 7, 4, 5, 7 in octave. Okay? If you do not memorize this table, if you do not have it, you can Google it and uh, do a, a binary to hexadecimal. So, type in binary to hexadecimal conversion table and you'll be able to find this table. That's a standard table. Okay? 